Well everyone, NASCAR raced at Las Vegas Motor Speedway today for the Pennzoil 400, the third race of the season and the second race of the West Coast Swing. And coming out of it, William Byron after starting on the front row and dominating this race, he gets the job done in an overtime finish. <laughs> noticed the camera has been changed well i'm still using my laptop camera but background's a little different so yeah so this is how my in the nascar race reviews are going to be like for a little bit trying to test some things out so for starters today um this race las vegas was a lot similar to last year's last year's in this in this year's were really identical a lot of great passing the the, you can really get by around, you, you can really watch the drivers, how they, you know, handle with their race cars and everything. So, um, yeah. And then, coming out of it, William Byron wins in a dominant fashion. Well, he had a win over time to do it, but probably a little strategy, but he clearly deserved it. He had the most laps today, clearly dominated it. So, congratulations to William Byron. He deserves it. So, yeah. So, now let's go ahead and get started with the race. Um, green flag with Logano on the front row with William Byron and Logano from the start he pulled away just a little bit and then he just faded back from the, with the Hendrick cars. I mean the Hendrick cars they were fast on the long runs and Joey Logano I gotta talk about him he was awful not terrible he was just off the pace just not off the pace just uh, just, just kind of mad day and so um, yeah stage one was caution free we only had like Four cautions today, only four yellows. So that's 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 great. No wreck fests or anything. But speaking of wreck fest, we had a wreck in the back of the final lap. So yeah, so then stage one was won by William Byron. So yeah, he dominated, like I said. Byron won stage one. Nothing really much you can say. It was just great passing. The Fords were a bit struggling. Like we saw last year. The Fords were not really the biggest, you know, mile and a half threats. They were not the biggest mile and a half threats. So, yeah. So, um, yeah. And then stage two was practically the same as stage one, where William Byron and Hendrick Chevrolet's dominated. And then, yeah, Hend Hendrick dominated. Ed Hendrick dominated today. And, yeah. So, yeah. And then we have some, um, and again, and then with the Chase Elliott incident, here with Chase Elliott incident, um, Josh Berry was in that car, and he he had some he had he was having a little bit of trouble trying to figure out the car, which I understand because it's his first race in the new next gen car. Um, we had some incidents where Suarez got up in the busher and they went they went in the wall. It was just great, we really fun to watch, and so yeah, Byron won stage two again. Byron won stage two. The green flag pit stops were interesting. Tyler Reddick finally finishes the race, and I don't know where he finished it. I'm gonna have to take a look back at the results, but. Yeah, William Byron, and he ends up well in stage two, but Tyler Reddick, boy, he had all around a race car. Byron, well, Tyler Reddick had a pretty unstable race car, but his car was really fast, especially for all the Toyotas. They were really great today, especially for Bubba Wallace. Yes, he did. I think he got a fourth place finish. Top five for Bubba. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. So. Yeah, the bubble walls had a great day. Great day for 2311 racing as a whole. And so, yeah, and then in stage three, um, Kyle Larson, William Byron, Denny Hamlin, he actually made a two-tire strategy gamble before, before, the, before the start of stage three. He was able to get ahead, get away from the, from Kyle Larson, but Kyle Larson came back with a hard charge on Denny Hamlin, and Larson ended up getting by him, and ever since then, led for a while. And then we have this one wreck where we have this one is it where Joey Logano he was the only one that I think the only one crashed out of today's race because he and he and Kisla, he Kislowski and Kyle which were racing hard then Kislowski got tight got in Logano put him in the wall and Logano spun out through the grass so yeah so Logano wrecked out of the race so yeah which I was he 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 because you guys know as you guys know me 
that's already in the line. So, yeah. But then, when there was this green flag racing, Denny Hamlin and Larson, they were up top two. And, um, yeah. The Hendrick Motorsports, Byron, if Chase Elliott, if Chase Elliott was still in here, was still racing, I think he would be, you know, in that mix as well. But, heck, I mean, he, Chase Elliott did have broken tibula. He had surgery, three-hour surgery, and he's going to be out for an indefinite period of time. So, yeah. I want to let you guys know on that statement. Um, but in the end, it came down to what Kyle Larson and the Hendrick, uh, some of the Toyotas, like Truex, had a great, great, had a great run. Was racing against Bowman. Denny Hamlin, third place. And then the caution came comes out for Eric Almirola. He got loose, hit the wall, and I came out for a big strategy. For example, like not for example, but in the end, William Byron got ahead of Kyle Larson in the final pit stop. The overtime was chaotic, was crazy. Um, Byron and Larson were on the front row, and then Byron was able to, wait, no, Truex, Truex and Byron were on the front row, because Truex didn't even stop for tires, so, so Truex, I, I was thinking he was gonna get, like, blown away out of the water, because he has four, has, didn't take any tires, but it was worth a shot, though, just didn't work out in the very end, Truex ended up getting annihilated, well, finished outside the top five, but he still finished inside the top ten, so, so yeah, in the end, it was between Larson and Byron, and when we have this big wreck collecting agent, Almanir Ryan Priest. Almanir Ryan Priest took a hard hit in Almanir, and Austin Dillon got involved, Harrison Burton, I believe, and some others were wrecking in the back. But in the end, William Byron gets the win. And I gotta say, this was one great race. Just like last year, this was a great race. And William Byron clearly deserved this win. Congratulations, man. Um, congratulations to William Byron, and even though these past first three winners for me haven't really been exciting, from my opinion, because Ricky Stenhouse Jr., because you guys know from my tier list, I don't really like Stenhouse that much, I don't like Stenhouse that much, but I was still happy for him that he won. Kyle Busch, he's okay, he's okay, I was okay that he won, he was okay that he, I was okay that he won, and, and then William Byron, I'm okay with, with him winning as well, so I can't, you know, say anything bad about that, but he, but the one thing clearly deserved it, so... Thumbs up, William Meyer. And same with Kyle Bush on Alcott when he deserved that one too. And so, yeah. So, William Meyer, congratulations to you, man. You deserve it. And so, yeah. And Danny Hamlin, oh, man, bummed out. Should have finished inside the top 10, if not top 5. But hey, it's not the end of the world. If we, we'll get better eventually. But great stage. But, 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 but besides, we have good stage. And Danny Hamlin had great stage points. So, I think he ended up getting 9, so that's not bad. At least we got stage points. That's all that matters. Hopefully, we'll go higher up in the standings. So, um, yeah, William Byron wins, and the, the strategy was key. Clean air was key. Like, you really, drivers that really play around with the throttle and trying to steer their way. And credit to Denny Hamlin for wearing the visor cam. That should really show the really great view of the track and stuff like that, so... Yeah, William Byron wins today's today's race and clearly deserved it. He had the fastest car, stayed up front all race, deserved it, man. That was deserved. So happy for so happy for William Byron. I was happy for Kyle Busch. Like I was even happy for Stenhouse. So, so yeah, the first so this was so was so the start of the season so far has been decent. It was way better than last year. I gotta say, way better than last year. So so far. So this season so far has been off to a way better start than last year. So, yeah. But congratulations to Willie Byron. He deserved it. And the racing has been good. There was a lot of great racing. We really didn't see a whole lot of action until stage number three, where we saw Logano and Kislowski. Well, Logano hit the wall, and then Logano spun out. So, um, yeah. So, that's, so, yeah. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the race results. And here's the results after Las Vegas. William Byron will, has won the race, started from second, finishes first. Kyle Larson, boy, if that caution would have come out, he would have won the race, he finishes second. Alex Bowman will end up finishing third, your last year's winner. Bubba Wallace, I mentioned he finishes fourth. Christopher Bell, one point had a vibration, he finishes fifth. Got a penalty, though. Austin Cindric, sixth, came out of nowhere. Truex, Jenny, after pulling that gamble, finishes seventh. Justin Haley, out of nowhere, finishes eighth. Kevin Harvick, ninth. Daniel Suarez rounds up the top 10. Denny Hamlin should have gotten the top 10, but he's going to stick with his, his number 11th. Ross Chastain, my pick, will finish 12th. 
Ryan Blaney, 13th. Kyle Busch locks weeks win 14th. Tyler Reddick, finally, he finishes 15th. Finishes a good, finishes a race. Eric Almirol, 16th. After hitting the wall, Brad K, 17th. Almendinger, 18th. Eric Jones, 19th. Corey LaJoy rounds up the top 20. Chris Buescher will finish 21st. Ty Gibbs. I don't know what happened to Ty Gibbs. He just faded way back. He finishes 22nd. Ryan Priest, 23rd. The Day 2500 winner, Ricky Stenhouse, 24th. Michael McDowell, 25th. Harrison Burton, 26th. Austin Dillon had a horrible day. He finishes 27th. Chase Briscoe as well, like I mentioned. 28th. Well, Chase Briscoe, 28th. Josh Berry, substituting for Chase Elliott, finishes 29th. Noah Gregson, he had tough, a lot of speeding penalties today. He finishes 30th. Bad day for Gregson, though. Todd Gillen, 31st. BJ Cloud 32nd. JJ Daly, 33rd. Ty Dillon, 34th. Cody Ware, 35th. Joey Logano will finish dead last because of the damaged vehicle policy. He didn't have enough time, and he ended up crashing out of the race. So, yeah, in conclusion, this race was really great, just like last year's. And, um, yeah, we got one driver I got, forgot to mention, Chase Briscoe. Um... Yeah, he was off again today. I don't know why is it with Chase Briscoe. He's just, just yeah, I predicted him him not making the, the playoffs this year. But if he continues like this, he's definitely not going to make it. So, But next week we'll go to Phoenix. And my pick is Kevin Harvick. Speaking of my picks, Ross Chastain was my pick to win today's race, and he ended up finishing 12th. So and the reason why I choose Ross Chastain as my pick to win today's race was because he fin was really decent last year and last year at Las Vegas. Almost won the fall race and kind of almost won the spring race as well. So that's why I choose Ross Chastain to win to my pick to win today's race. So, so yeah, guys. So in conclusion, this race was really good. was really great. And, um, yeah, I'm going to give this race, just like I said in my post and my thoughts in, at the end of the stream, my race reaction stream, a 9 out of 10 for this one. Great race. Almost perfect. So, yeah. So... Great race overall. Congratulations to William Byron. He deserves this win. And we got kind of a little bit of everything in it, you know. So, yeah, but next week we'll go to Phoenix, which will be a, we'll have a brand new package for it. We'll be lower down force. I think the diffusers gone. Some some other things like that, like I mentioned in one of my other in the NASCAR videos about the new aero package. So, yeah, congratulations to William Byron for winning at Las Vegas. Clearly deserved it. Racing's been good. Strategy was key. Tires were important, just like the always. So, um, yeah, what do you guys think about this race at Phoenix? Let me know in the comments below. And anyways, I think that's all I have to talk about. So, yeah, the racing, again, the racing was good. No cautions for incidents until, until the incident with Logano in Stage 3. And then another one with Almirola when he hit the wall. And then there was this big wreck that happened, a wreck that happened in the final lap. On the back straightaway, collecting a few cars like Priest and Almeninger and others. So, yeah. And Byron ends up winning the whole thing, and he deserves it. He's third, second, clearly deserves it. So, congratulations to you, William Byron. So, anyways, this is Preston signing off. Peace out.